Hey everyone, this is Ileana from Cherish Your Memories, and I'm here to share with you guys my recent purchase from Little Birdie. Um, I had I had been to Tuesday morning before, and I had seen the name for the, some of the little flowers that were like natural, um, and I hadn't. I hadn't really realized they had a website and I'll put the link in the description um, in the description box um, on how to order from them okay but they have some of the most prettiest flowers and their prices are so reasonable I mean it's like oh my gosh I like felt like I broke the bank with my humongous box that I ordered not to mention the shipping was super fast so let me show you what I ordered they had this rice paper, and it's, a, it's called a decoupage paper. It comes with four sheets. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. I have a couple boxes that I plan to cover up, and it has different little birdies on them. Isn't that pretty? Yep, so I got that. And um, it says four sheets. Oh, it says, okay, so it's two of the front and two of the back. But I th for a minute there, I only thought it had uh, one set of sheet, uh, one sheet of paper. But I ended up getting. Let me show you. Opening my box here. So they had these, and this one here was, I presume, I think it was three or four dollars. But it was like a kit. This one is called. I'll tell you right now. Uh, Song of the Sea. Now I'll tell you why I bought these. These I bought the paper pack Song of the Sea, which is with mermaids. But it has a bunch of different little flowers. It has different leaves. It has smaller flowers. The big flower. It's it's like a mixed medley of of different types of flowers that match that paper line. You got these that have like they're kind of like an off white, um, and they have glitter. Let's see if you could see it with the camera. See the glitter. They all have glitter on them. And these were really cute. And these are called Clarissa Shabby Chic. These little red ones were called Julita, Julita Love and Roses. Show you these. Aren't they cute? And it comes with uh, eight pieces. But it has like the little leaves and everything. Oh, it's so cute. And they're actually cuter in person because online it's it's kind of hard to, to tell how pretty something is online until you get it at home and then you're like, oh my gosh, I should have bought more. But here are some pink ones and they're um, two types of pink. You got the real light one and a little bit darker. And these were super cute too. These come with 16 pieces and they're called Micro Roses. Then this was a chipboard and it says Unforgettable Moments. And this was what well, yeah one piece so then I also got these butterflies here and they have two little like I don't know little tiny little balls here in gold with the little um, antennas and they're double so it's like you can fix them to make them look like they're flying but I thought these were really cute then I got these two pieces of chipboard that kind of go together. See them? But they're chipboard here. And I thought I can use these with some of those waxes and some of the gel stuff. Um, then I got this stencil here for like kind of like the brick. What do they call it? They call it brick wall stencil for this one. And then this chipboard here says live every moment. Now these uh, flowers are called Helena 12mm in red 12 pieces. But I got these, I ordered these to go with, in another video I did, I showed you guys, I got the, um, uh, from Tuesday morning, the um, Simple Stories uh, Valentine's Day. So this goes really good with them. Now, these are Song of the Sea elements. They are um, mermaids, whales, fishies, um, shells, the lighthouse, the anchor, the little um, corals. 
they are, let me see. They're pretty thick. They're really sturdy. See? I'll show you the paper. But that's the back. Then I got... Well, I got two of those. Two of the uh, mermaids. You can never have too much ephemera. Then these are from Song of the Sea. And these little tiny flowers match the paper line for that one. Then I got another set of the Helena 12mm red pieces that I just showed you. Hold on, I don't want to show you that one yet. Hold on. So then these are Song of the Sea as well. These are little roses. They're called micro roses. That's what they call them. Now this is Song of the Sea 6x6 um, paper pad here. Um, I'll show you real quick inside. But these you cut them apart. So you have your cut aparts here. Two pages. And it's a really thick um, chipboard. Not chipboard, uh, cardstock. It's like really, really heavy duty um, for the cut apart pieces. And the paste, oops, the papers are pretty um, heavy duty themselves. Really pretty. You can see. You could sell this paper brand new. Not pretty. My my baby girl, she loves herself some mermaid, so this definitely will be for her. My boys don't care too much for my scrapbooking. They're 13 year olds. They don't. They don't mind looking at my stuff but that's not their thing but my girl on the other hand she's been always she's always nosy in the stuff I make and then I got these flowers here flat back with some little flat back diamonds but they these are sparkle florets aqua medley even though they match you know these flowers they're a different um, paper line and then this is Aquamelly. So I'm guessing Aquamelly has a bunch of little birds in it. But this one, oops, had um, butterflies, little birds, uh, more butterflies, the paisley um, design, some more little birdies. Thought it would be kind of cute with some of those um, vintage like papers I have to kind of go with that. I pretty much hit the jackpot with lots of flowers. I, I, oh, here's another one. I, I just love these little flowers. These little roses. I just like that deep red. Here are some orange, pink, and yellows. These are called Micro Roses Boho Vibes. See? I picked up another set of the little roses. The Micro Roses for the Song of the Sea. Just wanted to make sure I had enough for the whole um, album. These leaves were different. I have the Petaloo um, leaves. And these were a lot bigger. And these are called just leaf. And it comes, it doesn't, tell you, it doesn't even tell you how much it comes with. There's a good amount. I want to say there's at least, at least 20. So that's good there. Then I have the Song of the Sea in 12 by 12. So I have the 12 by 12 with the 6 by 6. And then remember I got the embellishments to go with it. Because I wanted to make, I have lots of papers that will, solids that can go with this. So I can make myself a nice, decent-sized album. Because, you know, a lot of these um, albums don't come with enough paper to make a nice size book. So I got that one. Then I also ordered the Classic Gentleman. Now, um, K.W. Clement, I think that's her name on YouTube. She showcased this paper, and I fell in love. And it has... Like the vintage men, um, like just old patterns, hats, clocks, 
the old uniforms and the little glasses and the boots and whatnot. I mean, it was just really, really pretty. So I got the 12 by 12 um, paper for this. And the thing is, you can use um, black cardstock. You can use uh, craft cardstock with it or even beige. Then I got the ephemera pieces that went with it. These are some of the ephemera pieces here. See? Those. And then I picked up the 6x6. Kind of like what I did with the... And then these were the um, 4x6 um, journaling cards. See them? Let me show you some of these. Isn't that cute? I mean, you can actually make cards with these. They don't have to be just inside your um, your album, but you can actually make some really cute vintage cards with these. So I thought that was really cute. Really cute and exciting to touch. I mean, I, I got a lot of papers these past couple weeks to keep myself super busy. Not that I didn't have paper, because this is definitely not that I needed paper, but, you know... I'm a sucker for paper. All right, so then on their site, they also have this craft cement. I have never touched this kind of stuff. My husband messes with cement outside, but I've never messed with any cement. And it says you can um, use this with your, um, it says with your molding, creating textures, and more. So I said, hey, hmm, guess we're going to try this out. I, w I would think it's heavy, so I guess you would have to use it on maybe a piece of chipboard as your base. Um, I'm not sure. But it's 450 grams of craft gray cement, and I think I only paid three or four bucks for this. That was it. So I thought that was kind of funky um, to put in the uh, craft area. And then they have this heavy gel medium. Uh, 100 uh, milliliters matte. I think, I think it's, I think it's closed. You can't really see nothing. But yeah, I thought I'm trying to get all my mixed media stuff. And when they saw that they had so many for such good prices, I couldn't pass that up. Then you have your mixed media paste, two-in-one gesso and modeling paste in white, 400 grams. So it's a nice size, you know, nice weight and nice size. Um, can't beat the price. So then I also got the um, Crystal Sand Texture Paste in Stone. Let me show you that. It's like a white um, sandy stone. It has like little pieces of black and white inside of it. Um, it does. It really does look like if it was stone. It's hard to pick that up on the camera. And then... This one here is graphite dust, and it has is like gray with black um, specks inside of it, so it's kind of hard to kind of hard to tell. See? And then I'll quickly show you the last few things I picked up. Picked up these mica flakes in silver, and there's 20 grams of it there. And I picked up these uh, mica flakes in natural. So it's kind of like a shimmer shine. You can see it there. Um, silver paint. It's metallic, tinted metallic paint. It's kind of a like gloss. Here's one for the um, mermaid book. And that is Caribbean teal. I got this one, which is whipped cream paste, sparkle paste, which is like really glittery. You can see there. Shows to the side there. And my last two products is the Passion Pink. It's so dark pink, it kind of looks like a red. Go figure. And then the metallic paint in Golden Glaze. That's what it's called. So I hope they can bring out some other colors and I can get a good size collection. But yeah, I I the box was was packed, gem packed. I mean, it was awesome. So I suggest go try them out. Tell them I sent you 
make a big order, help them out. They help a lot of the um, women in, in India um, have jobs and whatnot. So, you know, it's a, it's a good um, organization to, um, to purchase from. And um, once again, I thank you guys for subscribing to me and staying with me. And I hope you guys stay with me to see the creations that I make. So you guys take care now, right? Stay safe. Bye.